Welcome to the channel. This Jeep build is complete. It's time to do a walk around and show you the mods. I'm not sponsored by any of the companies that make any of these accessories. And all the opinions that you hear from me in this video are all completely my own. In this video, I'll tell you what kind of Jeep I have and what I use it for. I'll show you the mods that I have installed on the Jeep. As a little bonus at the end, I'll tell you why and how I got this Jeep and how much I actually paid for it. This is my 2020 Jeep Wrangler Willys Eco Diesel. Its main purpose for us is overlanding and acting as a daily driver. When we overland, we tow an X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer. With the torque from the diesel, it's a piece of cake to tow. In the front of the Jeep, one of my first installs was this Mopar Steel Winch Ready Bumper with removable end caps and a winch guard. I like using Mopar parts. They seem to fit better and work well. They seem to cost a little more than a lot of other parts, but I think it's worth it. Nestled in the bumper is a Warren VR Evo 10S 10,000 pound winch with synthetic line. The winch is held in with a Warren winch plate. Attached to the end of the synthetic line is a Factor 55 splicer hook. Around the back of the Jeep is an ARB rear bumper with two massive red toe points and notches to fit the high lift jack in. The toe points are solidly attached to the frame. If you're enjoying the video, you think it's worthwhile, you're getting something out of it, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I installed the Mopar tailgate reinforcement. I like the way Mopar fits and the parts are made well. It was a massive addition to the tailgate. It's a very strong tailgate now. I did not like covering up my four wheel drive Willys sticker. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but I'm going to have to find some other place to put that sticker. Behind the rear wheels are a couple of ARB mud flaps mounted on homemade brackets. What can you say about a mud flap? The Jeep had the 2 inch Mopar lift installed, including these massive Fox shocks and an adjustable heavy duty track bar. It rides perfect on the road, and it's awesome off road. Upgraded tires to Toyo 285 75 17 open country mud terrains. Mounted on Mopar Steelies with Mopar center caps and Megard lug nuts. Wheels, tires, and lug nuts are all USA made. Very important to me. Steelies are great for overlanding. If they get dented, you can pound the dent out. I've got a whole other video on picking out these tires. It's pretty interesting, you should check it out. A really smart install was adding upgraded off-road differential covers. I added them front and back. Check the pictures, you'll see the massive difference between the Dana 44 off-road covers and the stock Jeep covers. The stock antenna had to go, replaced with this stubby. One of my next mods was the Mopar off-road lights with the A-pillar brackets from Mopar. Uh, they work great, they fit great. Really didn't know before why people put all these lights on their Jeep, but one night out in the desert, I learned why. Uh, it gets so dark, there's no way headlights can show you where you wanna go. So uh, in fact, I'm thinking about adding another pair of Mopar lights onto the winch guard up in front there. This is the Rhino Rack Backbone System. It keeps the supports for the rack inside so they don't get caught on trees, branches, and rocks, and other stuff while off-roading. Lots of options to attach whatever you want to this roof rack. There's a few mods inside the Jeep. Inside the Jeep, there's a handy pocket on the grab handle, the Mopar trailer brake controller. This Jeep came with very few options. The small radio, hand crank windows, 
and no clicker on the key to get you in and out. We've got the bullet point mounting solutions. It works awesome with a phone, the Garmin, the GoPro, iPad. Works well with all of them. Inside the back on the ceiling, a cargo net. Extra clothes, hats, gloves, jackets. It really helps keep the Jeep organized. You can also see the interior portion of the Rhino Rack backbone system. Very, very easy install. Here's some good pictures of the other side of the Rhino Rack backbone system interior portions. I haven't figured out a good place to mount this fire extinguisher. Uh, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. I could sure use some help with this. Open the tailgate and you'll find one of our favorite accessories, the Mopar tailgate table. It's handy for meals, snacks, and lots of other things you can use it for. It looks cool with a little Jeep stamped out of the metal and also installs very easy and it's very strong. This storage tray is super strong and has tie down points and it really comes in handy. So why did I buy this Jeep? My wife is a Jeep lover and I'm a diesel lover. And in 2020, Jeep came out with a Jeep Wrangler with a diesel motor. And like a lot of people at that time, in the, in the early part of 2020, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I had plenty of time to search the internet for a good deal on a Jeep. Lucky for me, I bought it at the right time. Then we got our X-Venture X-V3 trailer and this Jeep with a diesel motor. It tows that trailer over rough terrain, steep hills. Uh, it tows it fantastic. It's been a, a great Jeep and a lot of fun. If you think I got a good deal on this Jeep, let me know in the comments. You probably won't find a deal like this anymore. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Jeep and the mods I've made to it. And I'll see you on the next video.